guys welcome back to our channel this is timic tv and i'm miss rachel and mama timmy elijah all right in today's video i'll be showing you how to prepare your buffer solution to balance your ph to balance the ph of your product if you want to raise the ph or you want to lower the ph you need a solution for that and that's what i'll be sharing with you in today's video if you're stopping by our channel for the first time you're welcome to this family please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell to enable you get updates each time i upload a new video to our existing subscribers thank you so much for supporting this channel in my previous video i showed you how to check the ph of your product now checking the ph of your product and balancing the ph of your product are two different things Checking the pH means measuring the pH to know, of the product to know if that product is acidic or alkaline. Okay? When you check the pH of your product, for example, if you're using a pH strip or a pH meter, the pH of that product automatically reads in your pH meter. And then you know what category that product is, if it's acidic or alkaline. Now, if you're using a pH strip, all you have to do is cut one of the strip dip it in your product and then whatever color you see on the strip you come here to check it out on the ph chart to know whether it is alkaline or acidic or if it's just neutral all right so let's get down to today's video please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel so like i said when you hear about ph it means to check the acidic level of the product or the alkaline level of the product okay you can only check the ph of a water-based product for an oil-based product you don't really need to check or balance anything it's always balanced on its own so you only check and balance the ph of your water-based product remember the ph scale runs from 0 to 14 it runs from 0 to 14 now, if your pH falls between 0 to 6, it means that product is acidic. If it's 7, it is neutral. And if it runs between 8 to 14, then that product is alkaline. Now, all products must maintain a pH between 4.0 to 6.0. Except your black soap, of course. Black soap and mulatto soap must have a pH of 8. But all other products, your tuner, your cleanser, your emulsifying scrub, you know, a shower gel, you know, you have to check that. Check your facial cream, your body lotion. But your black soap, mulatto soap, it has to be a pH of 8. Now, acid is used to reduce the pH of your product. If you want to reduce the pH of your product, maybe your product is supposed to be four, between 4.0 to 6.0 and your product is having a pH of 8 and you want to bring it down, you need the acid to do that. It has citric acid or lactic acid to reduce the pH. But if you want to increase it, you need a base, also known as lye. Okay? So please take note of that. Now, pH balancing is one very important criteria to get a 100% effective product. You want your product to be very effective. You want all the ingredients to work well in that product. You have to make sure the pH of that product is balanced. That is number one criteria for you to have a 100% effective product. To balance the pH of your product, when you make your solution, you have to start by adding 5 ml to that product. 5 ml of your solution to that product, you mix and check the pH if it's okay. If it's not okay, you add another 5 ml, you mix and you check the pH to be sure it's okay. Once you get your desired pH, then it's okay for you. Now, when you check the pH of your product, three things happen. You must expect three things. One, number one is either the pH of that product is exactly in the range you want it, and in the range that your preservative system has the highest efficiency or the pH of the product it's high and you have to balance it bring it down with an acid or number three the pH of the product may be low lower than you want lower than the range and then you bring it up with a base or a line now let's make our 
our solution to balance our pH. You will be needing, of course, your citric acid. You need your citric acid. This is our citric acid. Can you see? Citric acid to reduce the pH. And here we have our lye if you want to increase the pH. Also, we have our distilled water. Distilled water is here. So we'll be needing our distilled water, 90% of our distilled water, and 10% of our buffer. So when working with your lye, you have to make sure the place is well ventilated. You have to make sure it's very well ventilated. Like I'm dangerous to work with, so please apply safety measure. Wear your hand glove, your protective goggle, and stay safe. Another thing you must know is when using lye, do not pour water into lye, it can be explosive. Please, instead, add your lye into water gradually. So, let's start with our now. Let's prepare our citric acid. I told you we need citric acid to reduce the pH, and we need lye. You can use citric acid, you can use lactic acid. But remember, you don't need this product in powder form. It must be in liquid form. That's why we're making our solution. It must be in liquid form. So we need just 10 grams of this. All right, that is it. 10 grams of that and 90 gram of water. Pour it in gently. You stir gently. Citric acid is water soluble, so it has to dissolve in water. You stir very well to dissolve. And this is it. So if you want to reduce the pH of a product, maybe your product is having a pH of 8 or 10 and it's supposed to be 6 or 4, you know, then you do the solution, add little into your product, you stay and check the pH. So that's all about this to reduce. Now let's make our life solution to increase the pH. It's the same thing. All you have to do is measure 10 gram of this, 10 gram and 90 gram of water. I said do not pour lye into water, pour water into lye and leave it gently. Make sure the place is well ventilated, you pour in and you stay. It is dissolved already. You can see it's dissolved. So that's all about this video. It's very easy. You dissolve, you reduce the pH of your product with citric acid and you increase the pH with lime. If you have any question, please share with me in the comment section. Hope you find this video interesting. Remember, I already showed you, did a video on this channel on how to check the pH of your product. I'll drop the link in the description box. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know each time I upload a video. Bye.